okay, let's say you want to use this um, neck cutter. You want to make a head for one of my doll bodies. This one's Sarah. We want to make our own head for her. Um, this is just a dummy object that comes with her. This won't be included. I'm just using this um, to decide how large I want my head. And I've already modeled my head. So as you can see here, here's the head that I want to make fit. I want to make it fit this chest. Now, you know, this is just our dummy. So we, it's a very simple, silly guy. But what we want to do is we want to get this, turn transparency on. We want this to um, be inside our head because this is our, our socket where our S hook rests. So this is our S hook socket catch thingy magic. But first, you know, my head is not empty. No, no thoughts, many thoughts head not empty. So we need to empty up this head. And there's a couple ways you can do that in ZBrush core. Um, I'm not sure how to do it in Nomad Sculpt or Blender, but if you can figure out how to hollow out an object, that's what you need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this head empty. So I'm going to duplicate it really quick. Um, this is the hole cutter. This will be included with the neck piece. So this is for cutting the hole into the head to make room for this piece. So first we've got to empty out this head. So I'm going to do what I call um, create shell in ZBrush and we'll see if that works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, that worked. So as you can see, the inside of this head is hollow. That might be a little bit too thin, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. So we've got our empty head. That is perfect, this is what we want. Um, and we have the next socket right here. So now we just need to fuse these together. You know, obviously filling any any gaps right there. So what I'm going to do is just pull this down a smidgen. Oops. Wink. Wink. Perfect. And I'm going to just very gently smooth this in so that it's not so pointy. Perfect. We want to try and leave as much of this part, this this is where the neck touches, anywhere where this neck joint touches. We want to leave that as untouched as we can. I mean, you can move it around, it'll be fine. But try to leave it untouched. But now that we've got a hole, an empty head, and our socket, little guy, I'm going to fuse them together. So I'll mesh those down, turn them into a DynaMesh. I think in Blender, this is called a Boolean operation uh, with um, meta balls or meatballs. And I just smooth that out. And now this fits in here. Now, of course, we need to be able to get inside the head. So what I'm going to do is make a little head cap part. So we're just going to Boolean a little head spot. So I'm going to DynaMesh this, turn it into a cutting object. Rotate it about 45 degrees. Put it about right there, because I think that's good enough for me. Um, make sure it's a DynaMesh. Make sure the head is a DynaMesh. Duplicate both of these things in case I mess up. And now I'm going to merge down, Boolean this, and now we can see inside the head. So as you can see, this is perfectly uh, gone where I wanted it to, meaning I can pull an S hook through here and it should now fit this chest piece. So we now have a head for Sarah, a little silly head. So if you know the right operations, it's not that hard to do. And I'm going to just chop this off so we can see what it looks like. There we go. <laughs> so it looks very silly. 
but we have a head. And if you want to make a head cap, um, you could do the same thing. You could duplicate this cutter object, move it here, and then go back to your previous object, because we made a copy of it, copy it again, and then use your lower square as a boolean cutter, merge it down, merge, merge down, click the dynamesh button, and bam, now we have a head cap. Now this doesn't have the magnet wells or anything in it, but that is how you can very quickly make a, your head compatible with Sarah. I also have the same neck adapter for Fantasia and Cabot. So there you go. I hope that makes sense, and if not, just let me know, and uh, I'll figure it out. Okay, bye.